What's up guys? Welcome to Enter the Gungeon. So this is going to be the first episode in my hopefully very long playthrough of Enter the Gungeon. Uh, if you haven't heard about this game, it's a top-down roguelite uh, shoot 'em up bullet hell game of, you know, epic proportions that uh, basically takes pages from things like Nuclear Throne, Binding of Isaac, stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and take a look real quick at uh, some of the settings just to see what we got here. Okay, so empty guns in combat, language, English, default character, co-op gun shake reduction, sure, uh, aim look, aim assist, uh, let's go ahead and turn that down a bit, because I can't trust it, out of combat, always, never, so we'll go with, there you go, speedrun mode, beast mode, okay, like probably one hit you die kind of thing, okay, use blank, L3, R3. I don't think I like that at all, actually. So, we'll probably use Circle as that. I don't think it's being used for anything anyway. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, do use, we'll use Circle for using blanks. That's fine. Interact, reload, move up, move down, move left, move right. Use item R3, map L2. Previous gun, next gun, next item. Gun menu... Drop gun, hold, drop item, hold. Okay. So, oh, I totally messed that up. Okay, so we'll go with that. Yes. Video, gamma is fine. Audio. We'll probably leave that right now for what it is, and let's jump in here. Okay, so we've got uh, four characters here that we can play as. So we've got the Marine, the Pilot, the Convict, and the Hunter. Uh, I think for my first run, I'm going to go ahead and play as the Convict. So, let's get in here. Okay, so, dodge roll, L1, shooting, R1, and all that. Uh, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4, obviously. Let's see what this guy's... Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I was like you once. Came to change the past, and now I have no future. Yeah, I can tell by all those... All those beer bottles on your side. Hee hee hee. Okay, this is tutorial. I'm gonna probably go through the tutorial first off, just to get that out of the way and that way I can you know get my head wrapped around the dodge roll mechanic and all that stuff okay so going through here what we got here oh hello wayward soul approach me and press X to speak okay for it is I sir Manuel heed my words and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth continue through the door to begin your tutelage tutelage onward to greatness yes Try flipping these tables or kicking those barrels. The X button. And then flip. And flip. Flip. And then kick. Ah, tear this place up. I'll clean it later. Thanks. Okay, so now you're going to talk to me about the uh, dodge roll. You are invulnerable during the first half. Vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires precise timing. Give the word, I'll open the burial. barrier. Use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without uh, perishing. <coughs> And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Ready, set, go! Okay, let's do this! Hoo-yah! Hoo Hoo-yah! 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 Beautiful. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah, it actually feels pretty good, the dodge roll mechanic. Feels good. Whee! So we can dodge the roll. Dodge roll over obstacles, obviously. Hoo-yah! Okay, not bad. So, this is my first time playing, obviously. Um, <clears throat> for that instance, you got to use your blanks. Okay. So, go ahead and grab those. You do it by pressing the original controls, as we previously stated in the uh, options menu. Excellent. Blanks refill every floor, so use them. Okay, so, yeah, basically just use them or lose them. Oh, what's up? Got the basics, Jailbird. I suppose you've earned a reward. A gun befitting your stature and experience. What is it? What is it? It's my first gun. <laughs> yes. Reload with square, but first you'll need something to shoot. One of the gungeon's natural inhabitants. Cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. Bullet gun! So cute. Now. Kill him! Finish him! Feels good. Cold-blooded, surely you are ruthless. The next room will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies in each room, and the doors will open. I'll meet you a few rooms ahead. Okay. Not bad. Let's do this! Oh, 
I like the uh, the pea shooter. It's, it's uh, kind of cute. So bullets. Uh, that's our currency that you saw us pick up. If you look at the top left hand corner, uh, you'll see quite a few indicators. You've got your hearts. Those are in two pieces, similar to something like uh, Binding of Isaac. So that'll uh, you know, as you take hits, you'll uh, you know decrease in those. Obviously, yeah, yawn. Oh, not a, not exciting, huh? Know to dodge, roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This med kit, for example, will replenish your health. Pick it up by approaching, hit the X button. Okay. Plenty of health right now, so don't get used to it. Think you need it? Jam the R2 button to use it. Okay. Head on through. Okay. Is that wind? No, we're underground. See the thing on the other side? That's teleporter. Whenever you find one, you can always return to them as long as you aren't in combat. To use it, first open your map by holding L2, then select the teleport symbol. You wish to, and then press X, and so on and so forth. Got it. Okay. So. Oh no! Haha. Uh -huh. Used L2 instead of that. Used L2 to uh, go around the map, so you use R2 to navigate the map. Okay, so. Yeah. So there's that, and you can teleport and so on and so forth. So this is a blocked uh, passage right here. I accidentally used my med kit, it's fine. Um, this is a little blocked passage right here that you need to actually go around the alternate path. Screw off, grenade! Oh, dang. It's unfortunate. I like how the bullet can use the, uh, the cover. clever. Feels good, though. You know, I thought that uh, the lack of a reticle for aiming would be a problem. It's really not. It doesn't feel that bad, all things considered. Oh, I see you. Cracked wall. Secrets. Alright. Pea shooter, can you get through here? I don't think the pea shooter can get through there. Let's use the blank like it gave us. Okay, what do we got here? Got a helmet. Oh, okay. Old Knight Shield, heavy with experience. And so, helmets. Let's check out the Ammo Nomicon. The Ammo Nomicon will give you all the information you will ever need for everything that you pick up. Shield of Sir Manuela, emblazoned with his house sigil, the Cup of Knowledge. A diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on the shield and examples of when to raise it, remarkably free of wear. And then there's the Old Knight's Helm. Has sturdy... A sturdy, if modest, helmet once worn by a knight with an unusually large head. Oh, okay, I wonder if that's a shovel knight, uh, you know, mention? It's kind of cool. Let's see here. Baby's first gun, semi-automatic. Okay. So, oh, there's Sir Manuel's body. Oh, he's dead. Sir Manuel, where are you? I found your body. Cool. But uh, another cool thing that the uh, shields do, the armor that we have next to our health, that actually... Uh, when you get shot and one of those gets taken away, it actually acts as a blank. So, that's something that uh, is good to keep in mind. So if you're really under that much pressure, uh, it pays to, uh, you know, pays to not worry and not panic about those kind of things. What do we got here? Switch guns, Manny, thank you. Uh, if you have two or more guns, hold the slow time, pick up the one you want. Okay. Oh, AK, sweet. It's classic. Okay, so we can hold triangle right now. It'll actually slow down time. We can switch. But uh, the other cool thing is that the weapons that you previously switched to and from, you see how there's a star on them? If I hit triangle, it'll automatically switch between these two in particular. Uh, so that's something that you can keep in mind if you want to plan out strategies as far as uh, environmental effects, you know, lightning, water, so on and so forth. <clears throat> We're going to go hard on this AK against this boss. Speak with me when you're ready for your final challenge. Are you ready to put yourself to the test? Yes, let's do this. Face me. And single combat! Oh. Oh, Sir Manuel. Oh, he deflects. Let's get in there. Yeah. Get wrecked, Sir Manuel. Cease fire, cease fire. Gungeon Acolyte. Beauty. Wait, that shield. You found my shield, which means you know my terrible secret. It's true, I never conquered the Gungeon, and I'm no longer sure if this is, even is the Gungeon. How humiliating. It's all that bastard's fault. 
Whose fault? The snake, Blockner! We were supposed to be partners, but shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. Oh my god. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have it. How do you know he didn't make it? Because if Blockner had changed the past, he would never have come to the dungeon, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must have left. Or maybe he's stuck in the dungeon too. It would serve the bastard right. If you find him, kill him. Tell him Manny says hi. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so you want me to kill him? Hey, now, nobody said anything about killing. But yes, please do. Anyway, I've got nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the dungeon and with your past. Thanks, Manny. Let's do this. And so begins our actual trials and tribulations of the dungeon. Now that the tutorial is done, let us proceed with killing the past. All right. So, main things I'm probably going to run into as far as problems. And you're now ready to enter the dungeon. Oh, the, the suspense is killing me. Yeah, the things I'm going to probably worry about, uh, item usage. L2, R2, i got to remember what those do. Um, L2 is probably your active. R2 is your, uh, uh, what was it? No, R2 is your active, whereas L2 is your map. Got it! All right, so let's get in here. Uh, there was also an update before the game came out for, you know, various fixes, uh, generating levels, and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, let's get in here. Shrine to an old gunslinger, there's an inscription. Kill your past. You've already damned your future. The rest is worn away. So let's turn away from that and let's continue. So, we've got two different guns here. We've got our sawed-off shotgun with 150 rounds. Does exactly what you think it does. It's a shotgun. Beauty. And then there's our budget revolver that we'll have to deal with, which has infinite ammo, thankfully. So, let's continue. Now that we're fully into the dungeon, let's proceed. So, good thing to note, you can dodge, roll, and reload at the same time. So don't feel like you need to space out when you're going to do, you know, so on and so forth. These ghosts are a little bit of a trouble just because they've got fully automatic weaponry. And they teleport, so that's you know, annoying. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. One of my uh, one of my buddies that I play with, Rockman, he is also picking this up and probably playing it right now. He gave me a challenge that said that he would beat the uh, first boss before me. So we'll see about that. make sure we reload everything. Okay, so you can't reload, you know, passively with your actual things, I think. If I looked at that correctly, which I may have. So, we'll deal with bandana. Bandana can over here. Oh, got hit. Dang, that sucks. Ah. Good news, though. As the convict, we actually get a damage bonus for getting hit, so that was obviously a strategic damage uh, that I took right there. You know, obviously. And break all this stuff. Let's go take a look at the shop. What do we got here? Grappling hook. That seems pretty cool. Uh, bow, 45. And the Litchy Trigger Finger. Uh, I want to get the Litchy Trigger Finger. Um, now, I am fairly familiar with um, some of the things that the game can actually offer. Um, I'm going to do something here that uh, I probably shouldn't, but I will. Uh, what was the button for dropping items? Hang on. It's up. No, that's uh no, I didn't mean to drop that. Anyway, um, triangle, no, square, no, circle. That's a blank, obviously. Uh, left and right. Okay, so let's switching that. Right, no, left. No. Hang on. I'll just look it up. Um, I regret throwing my Molotov down there, obviously. But, either way, uh, how do you drop your gun? Uh, drop your gun, you hold down. Okay, so can we not drop the saw off? We can't drop the saw off. Okay, so that kind of explains that a bit. That's fine. We'll get some more, uh, get some more ammo and so on and so forth, and then we'll, uh, proceed. What the heck is this? Gun Knight Gauntlet Ammo every armor every floor. That seems incredibly useful. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more money and then I'm gonna head back to the shop and actually uh, look into getting that Litchy Trigger Finger. Mostly because I like rate of fire increases. That's what the Litchy Trigger Finger does. If that wasn't obvious enough from what I would say. 
it takes three shots with that. Let's go ahead and just do this other room real quick. And before we go ahead with purchasing the Lichy Trigger Finger, because I think it was 35 anyway, which is fine. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that was close. Not this time, grenade. Oh, sweet. Blank. Alright, so let's uh, head on up to uh, the shop real quick. Welcome to the stream, guys. Okay, Lichy Trigger Finger. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. Um, also, uh, don't shoot in the shop. <laughs> the shopkeeper does not like it. So. We shoot a lot faster now, which is lovely. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, that one's dealt with relatively easily. Okay, that was uh, probably one of our first real challenges as far as uh, dealing with two of those knights. I think we handled it fairly well, all things considered. What do we got here? Some of these single hit enemies don't know what their names are. It's fine. They transform into projectiles themselves, which you can't shoot out of midair, which is good to know. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can just let them kill themselves. I don't know. Whatever, man. There's no sense wasting ammo on them. I'll tell you that much. So let's go ahead and head up here. Let's head to the room to the left. Deal with all that nonsense. Maybe get a free item or something. Books! I hate books! It's gonna be a lot of tactical reloads in this, by the way. Not sure if you guys are okay with that. Oh, sweet. We got our health back. Beautiful. Okay. Green chests give the, the, the age former. It's a hammer. Hammer. Is that a Gears of War reference? I honestly have no idea. Um, yeah, let's head over here, and then we'll just walk over to the left. Because obviously I'm too lazy. Uh, and we're going to check out this hammer. Wait, there's a hammer icon below my uh, ammo indicator. Am I going to be shooting a hammer at people? Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the ammo nomicon here. Ammo nomicon, tell me what you hold. It's an automatic. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, seems like he accidentally left one of his tools in the clip. That's kind of cool. Okay, so. Oh, I love it. Yes! Good reload, too. So let's see what this hammer's about with this thing. Um, I might as well just do this. <laughs> you shoot a hammer. That's good. I wonder if it has increased knockback or stun chance or something like that. Um, that'll be cool to figure out. But I'm really excited to figure out what everything does in this uh, this game, obviously. So we're, we're going to save the hammer for the boss, probably, because I feel like it'll be very... And uh, speak of the devil, here we are. Uh, we've got another room to check out, though, so let's do that. Before we kill their boss. And I know that I had that, uh, that thing to see who could beat the first boss with Rockman, but uh, yeah, we'll... We'll do this. I wonder if, uh... wonder if, uh... The, uh, the hammer, like, the, the main damage of it is dictated specifically by the, uh... Like, the ammo count? I don't know. Like, 450 seems like a decent amount of ammo, but at the same time, I don't know. Okay, I don't have any keys. Uh, did I have enough for a key? I have 33. I might have enough for a key if the shop has one. Let's go take a look. No key. Um, grappling hook? I would like to get a grappling hook. We'll probably check that out when, uh, we get the chance. Let's go ahead and head over there. I have to constantly remind myself that L3, uh, is not the thing I want to do. Rapid fire! Raptor! Gatling goal! So yeah, this boss, um, I'm familiar with. Because, uh, I've watched, uh, quite a bit of gameplay on this, uh, so far. This is not a... Like, like, it's blind in terms of me playing it, but it's not blind in terms of me seeing some of the content. So, warning. Okay, so, we'll deal with that accordingly. So, something I've noticed with the uh, automatic weapons 
is that uh, you have to actually hit the reload button in order to, uh, you know, or not so much have to hit the reload button, but, uh, oh, that was kind of shitty. Well, took damage there. I feel kind of bad about that, mostly just because of the fact that uh, we don't get that permanent health upgrade for uh, beating the boss, so there's that. What do we got here? Oh, 1911. Yes. I love 1911s. It's one of my favorite guns. So let's go ahead and head down to the second floor. I'm glad, I'm, just, I'm honestly just glad uh, that uh, we didn't die in the first floor. Took some damage though, so I'm not happy about that. But uh, we get some armor back for clearing floors. So uh, I think that'll be a, actually a great find as far as progressing further. So yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so 1911, show me what you got. I need an active item since I threw mine away. Oh, hey, we're back at the shop. Prime Primer. I have no idea what the Prime Primer does. He does have a key for sale, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. Oh, yes. I like this. It's a little basic in terms of uh, weaponry, but I like it. Feels good. All right. Deal with them real quick. <laughs> Shoot a hammer at you. Screw off. There's another grenade. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I feel like grenades uh, are gonna be never showing up by themselves. Yeah, let's not continue to shoot at the shotgun with that. Alright. Good, 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 good. So we've got two armor pieces now in full health, which is excellent. So, yeah, let's run around with the 1911 here. Have some fun with that. I'm actually kind of surprised you didn't just die. Wish I had my Molotov right about now. Oh, okay. So you explode like that. That's good to know. What do we got here? Sniper! Oh, damn. There's one of my armor pieces gone. Okay. Okay. So, gotta get the timing with, uh, that's all our armor gone. That's why you don't run straight up to, uh, shotgun units. Oh. I see. You're the one buffing them. Come here, don't think you run from me. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. Okay, that's actually a pretty big room. We actually, uh, we took some hits there. Some hits I'm not too proud of. Being honest. Okay. Hazard room. Ooh. There's no reason for me to be here. That's fine though. Alright. Random! It's our it's alright. Beat the first boss. Yeah, I beat the first boss. Alright. I had a uh, Gatling Gold for my first boss. So these rubber bullets don't actually do damage to you, but they do have very significant knockback. So that's something to uh, consider when you're fighting in these types of rooms. I uh, don't have a key, so that's fine. You can actually shoot chests open. Oh, okay, so we can actually get the opportunity to save her. She will show up in the breach and actually uh, give us a hand as far as uh, selling credits and or not credits, but selling items for credits. The credits in question are the hegemony. I don't know why I'm doing this when I can teleport. <laughs> Let's not put ourselves at uh, risk here if we don't have to. How about that? Okay, what do we got here? Oh, Lead Maiden! Okay. Okay, dealt with you. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll just let those do what they're going to do. That's fine. Hoo-ya! Nothing up here. Hoo-ya! Dodrill. Dodrill. Dodrills feel real good, though. Oh, oh, okay. That was poor damage, to say the least. Oh, that was even worse damage. Okay. Let's not lose it here against the Lead Maiden. And there's the uh, Selkie. Beautiful. Not happy with that, uh, that hard of damage we took. That was... Uh, Less than exemplary in terms of our performance, but that's okay. Uh, why am I still running? I need to remember that I can teleport. 
Okay, so let's uh, open this. Well, hello! Oh, finally. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. You should come by. We're on the top level of the breach. You can't miss it. Oh, cool. Thank you for rescuing Miss <laughs> Mistress Cadence and this one. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, Ox. Ugh, you're always so slow. All right. Not bad. So, let's uh, go ahead and see what we missed. Few rooms. Missed a few rooms. That's fine, though. That's fine. Okay, uh, we are running very low on ammo right now. So, let's uh, use the saw. Off. Actually, let's just use the budget revolver. Screw it. Need to get my basics down pat first off. What about you? A shrine to a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. Will you? Interesting. I don't know what we have to do to gain access. I had a feeling that this was uh, something we could do. Okay, so the sawed off, so starting guns, sawed off and all that stuff, can't uh, open secrets apparently. Will this actually open? Am I just, I, I, I see a visible crack in the wall, so. Do we have to use a blank? Guess we have to use a blank. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Cree. Uh, we got a key, so that's good. Um, the key we can utilize with the chest. That is... right here. So, let's do that. Running a little low on ammo. I would like to get more ammo. Ooh. Charge shot, hold to fire. Okay. Seems legit. So, let's go back down this way. Go to that sealed off room, um, and we'll see what's in there. I think, don't quote me, but I think that these types of sealed off rooms generally lead to uh, item rooms, which you need a key for if you want to use that. Oh, okay. I like this. Ooh. It bounces. Alright, well, not the best damage, all things considered. Whoop. Okay, so you have a little bit of a lenient uh, leniency period to deal with uh, the grenades when they do their little jump attack, which is good. Um, yeah, need ammo. Need the ammos. Alright. We're kind of stuck using our sawed-off and our budget revolver for now. Ooh, I wish I had a key for you. Let's see. Let's head over to our shop, see what he's got. We also have some paths to take here anyway. He does have a key. Let's get the key. Let's come back down here. Open this big-ass chest. Because I'm pretty sure these chests have to do with rarity in terms of uh, the color and all that stuff. And these ones are probably ones you always want to open. We got here gold ammo lit blank damage up. Let's take a look at that actually. What do we got here? What do we got here? Blanks will deal increased damage to enemies. Okay, gold ammo lit enchanted amulet is not actually made of gold but brass for melted bullet casings. Even now, it yearns to shoot at something. Cool, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's head over this way, head on through uh, this door because there's stuff. Uh, I don't know what the hell you are, but, oh, the bouncy bullets, I'm not a fan of. Oop, 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 dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, so we'll let him do his thing. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. More paths, though. More paths. I just need to avoid taking really dumb damage. It's like numero uno. And, you know, landing my shots is a good idea. Oh, okay. Slime! He's got a little, little derpy face, I love it. So let's not let them try to head me off. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Not bad. Not getting any ammo drops, though, as far as the, like, boxes that we can get, so I'm a little upset about that, I'm being honest. I'm 
I'm trying to not shoot them into the pits because you can actually shoot enemies into pits and then lose the drops. Oh, my key is going to be useful for the next floor, more than likely. Oh, yeah, see, like that. You can you can launch them into the pits, but chances are you'll probably lose the thing that they would have dropped. Uh, we got pretty lucky there that it didn't, but oh, shit, he hella led me for that one. Hella led me. Bullet sharks. Oh, no. Get out of here with that. Okay. We need health. I mean, we can go to the shop. Oh, there's a boss. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop and take a look at uh, what they've got, because I don't want to lose this. I don't. How much are these? 24. They're so expensive. They're so expensive. Okay. Okay. Um, no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Altar is empty. Can't do anything with it. That's fine. Um, yeah. Got a couple rooms to explore here. Well, probably like one room, if I'm being honest. This one probably links up with this other one. So, what do we got here? Oh, another one of these dudes. Okay. Let's deal with the riffraff first. I'm surprised he didn't kick that table up, if I'm being honest. Okay, where are you at? There you are. Uh, yeah, I might as well use this. Okay, so that's empty, which is fine. Alright. I don't want to use... Oh, okay, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, if you switch weapons, uh, it will reload your gun. And I previously thought that wasn't the case, but it, it, it is the case. That's a, that's a thing you can do. So, floor 2 boss. Beholster. Okay. Things to look out for him. Missile attacks, bullet hell, and uh, his laser, which he's starting off with, which is just great. Okay, got hit by it. Not good. Okay, so we got more lasers inbound. That's fine. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Always remember your blanks. Let's just do that. Ugh. That was pretty close. Don't even want to. So I want to get the rebound on that. Oh my god. Okay, let's just use all this up. Oh, that's not good. We're all out of blanks, too, so we gotta be real careful. There you go. Wasn't even watching his health bar, so I wasn't even sure where we were at. But not bad. We're still alive, so there's that. Honeycomb. Be prepared. I will be prepared. We need ammo. Give me some ammo. Uh, yeah. Guess we're done here. Third floor. Let's hit this. Have some fun. Yeah, but I'm I'm really enjoying the game. It it feels really good. Um, so far, I don't think I've taken any damage that I would blame on the game, which is very important for this type of game. <clears throat> every damage, every piece of damage I've taken, my fault. Totally, one hundred percent, my fault. Which is good because there's a lot of games that you play that are like this that you just you feel cheated a little sometimes, which is not always fair. Oh, bounce me. Okay. Oh, that sucked. Okay. Well, we had our armor, so that's fine. Uh, and our honeycomb makes it so when we take damage, I think bees get sent out to kill enemies. Let's take a look here. Yep, Honeycomb bonds with the user, releasing bees to protect their hive when damage. Not bad. Oh yeah, also the sweet memento reference right here. <laughs> Don't believe his lies. Okay, Teddy. Water. Okay, let's do this. Knockback on the shotgun's pretty good. As you would kind of expect. I'll just let them do their thing. Oh, that guy came in real fast with the bullets. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, 
reload that. Let's deal with this guy first. Because he's a little annoying, if I'm being honest. Boys! Okay, dealt with you. You, sir, need to stop. Thank you. Oh, free chest, sweet. What do you got? What the hell is this? Old Bomber, refuse to lose. Let's take a look here. This just seems like something out of a Popeye cartoon. Uh, charge, charge to fire bombs. Forgetful adventurer left a pouch full of bombs deep in the gungeon, and they eventually sprouted into this amusing weapon, a favorite of the gunsling king, who often sends manservants to pick up the bombs. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll probably save that for a second. I should probably use this charge shot, too. Because I need to get more accustomed to using charge-based weapons. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, sweet miss. Let's get away from that guy. Oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> oh, stop with this now. <laughs> ammo, sweet. Uh, let's... He blew up my ammo, you son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. If we don't get something in terms of ammo, we're gonna be spent. Straight up. Not a whole lot we could do with that. Oh my god, they're on the carts. Oh, that was pretty shitty. Get them my bee friends! Oh, okay. That was everything, huh? Right. Little bomber. I, I guess I should try out the little bomber before I die. I don't want to fall into the whole too-good-to-use thing. Oh, it's so good! Ow. Let's just do that. <laughs> I got one hit until I'm dead. That's great. Um, yeah, why not? Let's keep using the little bomber. Charge that up before we get into the next room. Bonk. There's something special. Oh. Something special going on here? I have no idea. That's fine, though. Um, if I had more health, I'd probably experiment with that a little bit more, but as it is right now, I I can't really afford it. Which is fine. Uh, heads up, don't shoot... In, yeah, no, I know. Don't shoot in the shops. Uh, eventually, if you shoot in the shops, he will raise his prices, and eventually he will start shooting at you, and then he will teleport, and then I'm pretty sure he's gone for the rest of the game. Or that run, rather. So, yeah. Be careful on what was left here. Thanks for the ammo. Oh, the ammo didn't get disappeared. It got thrown away over on the other side, and the rat took it. You bastard. You rat bastard! What do we got here? The Judge. Hot shot. Obviously, this is a Demolition Man reference. Or not Demolition. This is a Judge Dredd reference. Not Demolition Man. Silly me. You're on TV! Okay, so I don't want to... I don't want to die right now. Uh, he kills you with OP shotguns. Yes, he does. We haven't found the shop yet, right? We have not found the shop yet. So, yeah. We gotta find the shot. Straight up. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Hey, stop moving, guy. Ooh. Okay. Hang on a second. This is doing things. Each clip contains a final shot with varying effects. That's awesome. So this actually, it behooves me to not tactically reload with this weapon, which is interesting. So, that kind of goes against how I normally play these types of games. Because I like, uh... Oh, that was close. Deal with you. I don't know what you are, but I don't want to deal with it. Oh, okay, they got interesting bullets. Right, I don't like that. Oh, he was frozen. That was awesome. What do we got here? No! Oh, cut that shit out. Oh, 
there you are. Okay, so you're dealt with. Okay. Dealt with you. Dealt with you. You guys are just an annoying combination of enemies, if I'm being honest. Oh, lucky explosive shot right there. Oh, that was a good final shot. That was a real good final shot. Oh, there's a shopkeeper. Okay, we might make it out of this alive, boys. And or girls. <laughs> Whoever is watching. Okay. Well, I gotta buy the hearts, right? Like, I have to. Man, this stuff is so expensive. Let's see what's up with the little bomber right now. Okay, you gotta charge that thing for a while. Three shots, decent reload. Okay, so, there's that. You can reload it before you use them. Okay, boss. Uh, let's just go ahead and fight the boss. Let's get in here. While we still have ammo. What do we got here? Cannon Balrog. First time I fought him, this is going to be interesting. I've seen a lot of people die to him. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I don't like fighting him towards the bottom of the screen. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, those shots bounce. Those shots bounce. That's terrifying. Oh, no. Oh no! Shit, third floor boss. Totally nuked us. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. That was a fun fight. Not bad for a first run though. 28 minutes. Not bad. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and head back to the breach. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so. That was fun. Alright, well, I'm going to probably uh, make a cut here as far as the first episode is concerned. If you like it, feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth, If you, especially if you want to see more. Um, we're probably going to do, I don't know, Marine next or something like that. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.